During this video, I'm going to be showing you the new features that we just added to InstaBuilder 2.0. Now, the first one is the ability to undo and redo any changes that you made to a page. So for example, if I wanted to change this headline, I can come in here, I can change this to my headline. And then if I want to undo what I just did, we have an arrow up here, the undo arrow and the redo arrow. So I can click on undo. And as we can see, it's going to make my headline go back to what it was previously. And then if I wanted to redo what I just did, I just click on the other arrow and it's going to change it back to the way I just had it. The next feature that we added is the ability to keep an image aspect ratio upon resizing the image. So if I wanted to add an image to my website and I just click and drag the image over here, then we click on the gear symbol to edit that image. You're going to see that you now have the option to keep the aspect ratio upon resizing that image. And the next feature that we added just below this one, you're going to see that we now have image styles. We have three different styles that you can choose from rounded circle or thumbnail. And when I click on these, you're going to notice the image changes over here. So now you can add more character to each one of your images by simply just choosing an image style. Another feature that we added was the ability to delete variation A of your website. If you have a split test going on and you have more than one variation, you can now delete variation A. So as an example here, you can see that we have variation A and variation B. So let's say B is converting a lot better for me. We can now delete variation A by simply clicking the little X here, just like so, clicking on OK. And now we are left with just the variation B. Another cool feature that we added was how you can edit your text. Originally, you would have to click on the text like so, and then click on the pencil to edit that text. Now all you have to do is double click. And as you can see, that gives us the ability to come in here and edit the text without having to click on the text and then click on the pencil. Next up, we updated the social share element with the new ability to use custom URLs to share. So if we come over here and we decide to add the social share, I'm going to drop it over here. And then we click on the gear symbol to edit this element. You're going to see at the bottom now that we now have the custom URL option for you to enter any custom URL that you would like to be shared when someone clicks on these buttons. Another update that we made was we updated the image editor instructions that you're going to see on your settings page. We switched it from Aviary to Adobe Creative SDK. And from here inside of your settings page, you're going to see where you can sign up for free and how to set up your account. And last but not least, another feature that we added was the option to turn on the autosave feature. Now this will only work if you are actively editing a page and it will auto save for you over time if you have this check marked. If you do not have this check marked, it will not auto save for you and you will have to manually save the page every time you want it updated. And that there is a list of all the new features and updates that we have made to InstaBuilder 2.0.